Yo, 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 it's your boy Stealthy Man, and we're back with another video. Now, last night was literally, I will probably say the craziest night for the entire Cardi community, bro. Like, this man Cardi officially brought the rollout back, and this shit is looking insane, bro. Now, if you weren't on the stream last night, if you if you guys don't know what happened, this man, well, before, we, before I even say anything, let's go to where I feel like Cardi really planned this entire thing out. I feel like it started from this tweet right here, bro. Now, if you guys don't know, yesterday, earlier... The day before he performed, I think it was yesterday, like in the afternoon. It says a day ago. So, like around 12 or 1 p.m. yesterday, Act tweeted out and said, I'm going to have to go find Playboy Cardi again. Last thing that nigga told me was 2024 music. It's halfway through the year. It's going to be 2025 soon. They gave me two dates they ain't stick to. LOL. Now, you know, I'm not going to lie, Swamp Izzo. I was not familiar with your game, bro. I'm going to be honest. But now, after seeing what he did last night for us, I will never doubt you ever again. I'm going to be honest, bro. And if you're watching this video, we got to apologize to Swamp Izzo, bro. Because we thought that boy was just trying to be part of the team. We thought he didn't know nothing. But Swamp Izzo really, like, if it wasn't for him, if he was not there last night, we would have never heard the new songs he previewed to us, bro. Which is crazy. Like, I still can't believe it, bro. So, he commented under this post and said, soon. And he did another comment and said, like, fuck it, tonight. Then, I, I just want to say, like, I feel like Cardi, like, really planned this shit out. Because I feel like he made Act say this so all the blog pages can post it. And then he went against everybody narrative. Like, he went against everything, bro. People thought he wasn't going to show up to Summer Smash, which he did. We thought he was going to perform Whole lot of Red once again. Didn't do that. He only performed Stop Breathing and Sky. We thought he wasn't going to perform new shit. He did everything that we didn't expect him to do, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, this shit seemed like it was all planned out, bro. Now, if we go to the, uh, the set list from his Summer Smash... This is looking like it's going to be a set list throughout the whole year. I'm not sure if the album will drop before Rolling Loud Miami. And I don't even know if they're going to book him. But I feel like Cardi's going to drop the project probably towards the end of the year. Because it does seem like if Rolling Loud was to actually book him. Like before the project drops. It would be crazy for him to perform it there. So I feel like he can get. Like it'll be literally like a good marketing and advantage to him to perform the project at Rolling Loud. Before it drops. If you guys get what I'm trying to say. So, But yeah the set list. Oh, uh, he came out to Hood by Air, which we all knew he was going to come out to. Um, with the new intro, that shit was insane. Then he came out to 2024, the extended sample with the guitar. Bro, 2024 sounded so beautiful live, bro. We will be reacting to the most of the set after we finish talking about this. But after that, he performed Ketamine, which the intro for that was insane as well, bro. One thing I want to say as well, Swamp Izzo really made the crowd more hype. Like, his pause, but like, his voice and him, like, getting the crowd hype got like the crowd going crazy like the crowd control was, was just insane from him i'm not gonna lie and cardi then after ketamine he did type shit the intro for that was crazy as well back rooms with the guitar crazy then he did fiend and then after that he did all red which nobody expected him to do bro i never in my life thought that cardi was gonna perform a leak i never thought he would do that shit again bro last time he did that was like 2019 right well i think it was uh it was either 2018 or 2019 when he performed Molly. And, like, people knew the lyrics and shit. He was like, I don't know. Like, he was like, how y'all know that shit? And then he performed the entire song of, of All Red, bro. Then after that, he, he got, bro, he was even nice to give us another new track, bro. Thanks to Swamp Izzo. The man gave us another new track produced by Filthy, Lucrative, and Lucian, which we will be listening to after we finish talking about this. Then after that, Different Day with the Piano Intro beautiful bro we felt like we was in heaven last night on that stream bro i literally felt like i was in heaven bro then after that stop breathing classic then we got evil jordan which the crowd went crazy to carnival shooter and then sky and i, I think he left with uh, hba again because like a lot of fans were telling him to play one more song he came back into the hba one more time but this is looking like the set list for the rest of the year i'm not sure if he will like add rockstar made because i feel like if he had rockstar made that will add more hype to the set list as well because like it's like the one of the main songs he has to perform from whole lot of red so i feel like stop breathing and rockstar may should definitely be next to each other and then uh evil jordan and shit like that but this is looking kind of good bro for the set list bro the intros and everything was like really hard as hell bro that and that's what's separating from like a lot of performers like he has a live guitarist with him the intro keeps people anticipated and then when the beat drops everybody goes crazy which a lot of artists don't do and if they do do it it's not to the extent that cardi does it like i know that might sound like i'm glazing but it's facts bro like the way this man has his intros and like everybody on stage with him like the whole opium camp and all that like it's shit hard bro like he really riding for his team pause but it's crazy bro 
And then we also got some new photos right here. This shit hard, bro. That fit was hard. He, I feel like I, I peeped he got a new chain as well. He got a new upside down cross chain, yeah. It, look, it looks it looks similar to Uzi. I think Uzi has something like this, but like with the little uh, upside down crosses. Yeah, the pics were fire though. And then uh, Ag tweeted this morning and said, I talked to Playboy Cardi and told him, y'all fans need that album. His response was, I'm ready. Ag told him, your fans need that album. And Cardi responded to him and said, I'm ready. Now, this is once again going to keep fans anticipated. It's going to have fans speculating. When is Cardi going to drop? When is Cardi going to drop? You guys know how this shit goes. Cardi's literally training number one right now on Twitter, bro. This shit is fucking insane, bro. And he also posted on his Instagram. He literally just posted. As I'm making this video right now, he just posted on his uh, Finsta page and said, Baby Boy 4, Pelly Pelly, Custom Iron Music, Sex is Death. He added Sex is Death and said, Twin said, it's time. Streets need to hear and see this shit right away. Oh, no. He said, need to hear and see this shit the right way. My bad. But yeah, and then he also posted on his own page of like the crowd gonna hype to HBA and shit, which was, you know, a typical Cardi. The shit, they, they went crazy, bro. They went fucking insane. Let's hear it. <laughs> Crowd going crazy, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. And then he posted this. I guess this is like the jacket he was wearing at his performance last night. And then a video with him with the new song playing in the background. This shit is so hard, bro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bro, he loves flexing his teeth, bro. God, you time, man. 200 in the mouth. Land on the teeth. Land on the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That shit crazy, bro. Let's get right into the performance then, bro. Let's actually hear this shit in full effect, bro. Let's see how all red sounded. I know that shit sounded beautiful, bro. Red sound crazy, bro. Holy shit, bro. Let's hear the new song, bro. All rest. I still can't believe this nigga really performed all right, bro. Like, it's, I'm sorry, bro, but it's crazy, bro. All right, here's the new song. Bro, the beat is insane, bro. Let's go! This ain't no shit right here. Oh, 
Bro, the synths on that second part when it goes up, bro, that shit is insane, bro. Like, look, y'all hear that shit? Hold on. Bro, that shit sound insane, bro. So, like, it's, it's, it's finally good to say because a lot of people thought the album was going to be strictly just Deep Voice. So, now that he previewed All Red, which is officially going to be in the project now, I guess, right? Since he performed it, even though that song was made, like, in 2022 or 2023, somewhere around those years. But looks like All Red is still going to be in the project since he performed it. And then the new song he just previewed with the baby voice, bro. We're going to get a whole bunch of different shit on this project, bro. It's going to be a variety of, of just different vibes, bro. And I'm, I'm all here for it, bro. This shit this shit is going to be crazy, bro. This this song is better. Like, this shit is hard, bro. I can't even... I can't even fully analyze what happened last night, bro. Like, I'm trying to continue, but, like, it's just... It's crazy, bro. Like, last night was just insane, bro. But, yeah, that's the whole entire recap from last night. Let me know your favorite moment from last night. This man really previewed all red the entire version, gave us new music. He teased Iron Music is coming soon. Swamp Izzo said it's sooner than you think. He said he promises dropping this year. Like, now we just gotta wait on what Cardi gotta do now, bro. Which is, you know, he might give us a couple more singles, throwaways, who knows. I'm like, we're, we're, we're all here for it, bro. This man literally took over Summer Smash, bro. And let me know if y'all think he's a better performer than Travis Scott, bro. I was having that debate earlier. I feel like Cardi really took Travis' spot when it comes to performing, bro. Ever since his performance last year at Rolling Out Cali 2023, bro. I feel like ever since that performance, he took over Travis when it comes to performing, bro. Like, Cardi got this shit on a chokehold right now, bro. But yeah, man, it's your boy Stealthy. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on post notice, do all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.